Now, I really want to show you what you can do with AI lately. Its capabilities of doing video generation has literally went to the next level. I was just creating images like this using Kyber or Runway or Mid Journey. This one specifically is from Mid Journey. And I'm converting it into a video using Kyber's st Super Studio right now. Uh, I mean, we're using the Luma engine, like it's letting you use Luma. So if you ever heard about Luma, it's kind of like the, if you ever seen any of those AI videos that look like they're straight out of a cinematic Hollywood feature film, that's from studios like Luma. You know, they're doing things like that. And now Kyber has it integrated within its system when it's generating videos. So here's one example right here that I was able to see earlier. Uh, and then here's one I just did right now. So it's taking that picture and it's, it's converting it to a video, but the, the quality that it's doing to that is just amazing. So look, that's just, that's just these two. Here's another one of a spaceman. Or actually, here's one of a clone of me. Now I tried to get him playing the piano, but he's just bobbing his head. Now, never mind the piano aspect of it, but him with his head nodding and just like chilling and, and vibing like that in the studio. Come on, that's on point. That's on point. Just not too long ago, you couldn't really generate something that good quality. Now, I tried to do a spaceman. Uh, this was a photo, just like I said. I brought it in as a reference point. I could have just done a prompt and just text some things to get a generation, but I brought a photo, a photo for these. So this one is like a perfect looking background. If it was on loop, I'm thinking like a desktop background, a phone background. Like I really like that right there. And then I thought this one was pretty interesting because it gave him some like movement. I wanted to see if we can get him to move and, you know, it gave him a little bit of movement, but his hand was jacked up. All I did was regenerate once more. And then we got this perfect parallaxing, like realistic movement. Like he's actually floating in space here. You know, I'm really able to get kind of what I want as long as I dial in more and more. And even if I don't, I, like, I didn't even do that to this one. I just literally pressed the button again and generate again. And just, it did it in a way that I like this time. So, I mean, I got more to show you. This one really blew my mind. I just, this is probably my favorite one this far. Talk about the start of it, like an opening, a opening shot to a, a, a movie or a short film or a TV show. Like that's perfect in my opinion. I'm just, my mind is blown just seeing where we are already with this whole AI situation. And here's something a bit more cinematic. We got, we got this mountain peak drone shot. It's uh, October right now. So we're kind of in the Halloween vibe. We got some, uh, you know, skeleton couple sitting at the cemetery with some pumpkins. Like this is, come on. You can hear the excitement. You can hear like, I'm really in awe seeing this stuff here. And I, I did again. And we got, we got more of a, oh, like they're looking towards each other or they're posing. This is sick. I'm loving this. This type of generation is, is finna beat out a lot of, now these are some images I had as well that I generated. I was trying to get some lo-fi stuff. Now I didn't start with that image that I started with this image actually, but I didn't, I didn't use it in this prompt. I just used the description that I got. When I put this image into ChatGPT and I asked for it to give me a description for this image, I wanted ChatGPT itself to describe where I thought this image was. And I also put that in the prompt, but I added the photo as a keyframe. So, and that was just a photo. For some lo-fi, you know, two hour long YouTube videos with the lo-fi music in the background. That's a whole niche right there. You can literally get it cracking and make a whole bunch of art nonstop. I mean, even if you just want a video album in your house or you got... Uh, you know, any, any, anything like that. I even made some UFOs. Check these UFOs out. I'm not upset. I'm not upset. Now, when you're trying to get AI to do a more tedious task, maybe uh, playing the piano, it just hasn't worked out for me yet. You've, I've already tried a couple of times. I'm not sure that it's going to be able to keep up with something like playing the piano or, I mean, maybe plucking guitar strings. We can even give it, a, we can give it a try. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab another Luma node and plucking guitar strings. We're just going to leave it at that. Simple as that. Let's see what we can get out of this. All right, so here we go. So yeah, we got a nice, nice image going on here, but he's just not plucking those. He's not plucking. He ain't plucking those strings, man. He ain't plucking them strings. Now, I ain't gonna lie. My microphone did die. 
But if you want to learn more about this AI stuff, I have an entire membership area where you can join for free, where I go into more detail and show more behind the scenes of all the things that I do. So feel free to go ahead and click the link, sign up, join the membership, and I'll catch you on the inside. Until I see you there, it's Mike No, and I'm out. Yeah. Whoa.